And we're back, guys. So, in the last episode, we finished off the Fixmas factory. And this episode, first thing, let's get this whole pack. And now with this on, let's get into the video. So, in the last episode, I reached 100 hours on this game, and I thought, let's make a video for celebrating it, and what a better way to see everything that we've done, go over it. So we start here, back at the base, where it all began. Over here is our home, our hub. This is our main base here, where we research everything that we need. And if we really want, we've got a little game here we can play. Then, over here are some of our workstations, just to do stuff, to learn things, and to buy stuff from the company. Then over here is Probably the most important thing, the space elevator. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that satellite into orbit. Or oh, so I believe. Then in order to fuel or give all the resources, we have to produce stuff. And produce we have. I fly up a little bit, you might be able to see just a little bit of this factory world. This is our home factory. It's where we make all of the items we need and the basic ones. Later on, we'll make bigger factories for the four lost items because of how many they are. And we've got this lovely train railway going around the map all over and around if I quickly head over that way we get to the next factory and if we pop out over here we get to what I believe to be our first factory sort of factory more like a power plant our coal generation Says. This is where we, the first time of us producing power that wasn't biofuel. So we took water and coal and made it into the coal generators, which gave us power. And over here is some more. Then we made even bigger factory lines of them. And they might not be our best producing things since they only produce 45 megawatts per building. But we, if you have enough coal and water, you can, and buildings for that matter, you can build quite a bit. Let's go head over to our second factory. And here we are, guys, at our second factory. So our main factory is over here, or main base. Then we had our coal factory there. And here's our plastic and a little bit of components and that. So we first started off with a few oil nodes here, which have more so we can expand in the future if necessary. These then go into refineries, which make plastic and some residue extra which we can get rid of or use for other resources. Then over here this is our rubber making. Both of them go into two different storage containers but the plastic splits off over here. Goes past everything where it meets with this copper area making co copper sheeting and both of them go together to make um, 
It's two points. And all of this is done like that. But to automate some of the like shooting the Oh, because you're back to that makes sense now. Um sorry. So in order to make the the weapons for our guns we had to use some of the residue from the rubber and some other resources. If I quickly hook this up, there we go. That should start getting us more rubber going or more heavy residue created. Then that heavy residue, sorry, me, the heavy residue and these gunpowders, or black powder more, go in into a refinery to make smoke powder. The smoke powder goes into a crafter with copper sheets to make rifle ammo. And that's where we get our ammo for our lovely rifle over here. Then let's head over to our next factory report. I did forget that we have okay. Um we had built a steel factory on the other side, but I just can't see that as the base. So this is our third factory, the steel factory. And this is when we had started messing around with the trains. And we needed a lot of steel. And I didn't feel like trying to make uh, use of too much there. So originally I had bolted around that way and or well, made a train track around there and realized it didn't work. So I went straight through here and it brought us here where our seal factory is and is running quite well. We're backed up and stuff. I, I do wonder why these guys are on top of the storage bins. So why not just drop a few bombs? Let's see what happens. Huh. Why are they so bouncy? Let's, so, the next factory we build, or we're going to, is the, I'll explain when we get there. And this is where the, the controversial part comes in. Because before we had started this, we did start on the aluminium factory, but we hadn't actually built any part of the factory, we just put a railway and a bit of the flooring down. We did add that other little factory or the oil area. So for now I'm just gonna go with this. I guess I can take this away soon. Ah, for now it's fine. So this factory is not complete yet. So right now we're just making use of oil from collected from all over this area and turning it into fuel. What I would like to do is turn it into turbo fuel. And now with this new improved bolts and everything, we should be able to do this very soon. But for now, we just have some stuff there. And this factory will expand quite big. And produce a lot of power and with that power we'll be able to start on other factories including hopefully the nuclear power plants which I would like to get to soon just so we have more power now let's get to the next factory 
This was our fourth factory. Fourth if you do not include the home factory five if you do. And here is our sixth factory, the aluminium factory. So we gathered resources from a little distance over there because we didn't realize that they were here. And if we want to expand, at least there's more here so we can. If you go through, you can either go through these doors and the train tracks or you can go through this door here. Once water safe is completed. Then above the train stations is a little area for you to look over the factory and just for some light controls. Then the <coughs> then the trains are no borac or yeah or it's down and they get sent into these refineries to make aluminium solution and silica. Then those get put with the aluminium solution gets put with coal to make aluminium scraps and water. Excess water goes back and the silica goes around to these one, these few foundries here. And these ones, the foundries take the aluminium scrap, the silica, and make them into the aluminium ingots. And it continues like that. Then we needed some more silica. So if you look out this window here, you can see that there's two belt li lines coming from over there. And just some extra in case anything happens. Then these ingots get placed into these industrial storages for backlog. Then for some of the crafting recipes, we need a copper. So we built this little underground area, which is, which is smelting copper ore, conveniently mined right outside here. And we've got this little two balcony areas. This, this upstairs area is my favorite. As you can see back into the factory. Then over here is the assembly line which is making aluminium casing and aluminium sheets. And once all of them are made in that, they get sent out here and underneath to this convenient storage area, which for later use, we can set up a train station to hook it up to. And if you're wondering how you can get to that, um, the storage bins, we built them at the perfect height that the tip of the top just poke out a little bit and this is basically the aluminium factory there isn't much right now to be added in that if we pop out here you can see that the roof is just an ordinary roof but it's a big factory already and now Let's go to our latest factory and probably by far the most expensive factory. And here we are guys at the Flixmas factory, the latest part to the latest factory to get. If we hop down here, down this side of the factory, we have a whole bunch of gift trees giving us presents which go over here and all of these presents are used and all of them get put together to make wonder stars and you might ask what are the wonder stars for and so we have full little factory cars driving around in the circuit so if we steal this cart here I mean, I can drive you guys around. So it's like a little cool. So I want to add a lot of factory cars on here that just drive around and then I can drive in here and like race them almost. I'll try to tip over. Then 
underneath here is our Christmas area. So there's a few giant Fixmas trees with that's been decorated snowmen, a river running in the middle, as seen over there. And this whole area just works well together. And the cards go around in a circle and come back up. This factory you might have noticed that it's placed in an odd place. That's because it's a giant hole. So we could build this underneath area and still have this above area level. Over there is some glass floors. If I can or glass foundations, if I can reach over there, you'll be able to see what I mean. It's, it's just some place to make the area look nice, as you can see. And you can see the cards going underneath and around. And here is just a little bit more decoration, so you can see underneath, see the cards, see the river, see the whole area. I have to say, I quite enjoyed building this factory, except for this part, making everything and all the problems. Everything else was quite fun. So, let's head back to base for one more thing. And here we are back at base, guys. And since it's the 100 hour special episode, I think it's only fitting we switch that on. We've got a hundred hour sign. <laughs> wow. And with the sunsets, it just, it's going to look way better. So, this is where I'm going to end it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tour around our world and seeing some of the factories we built for the hundred hours. We'll probably do this again when we hit a year's time. From the first time we've played or we get to 200 hours whichever comes first so thank you guys for watching i hope you really enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye now mm -hmm.